Good day everyone, I am Teacher Jess and I will be your teacher for today. Our lesson for today is all about... Okay class, I want you to watch this video. Okay now, our topic for today is all about the science process skills. Okay, what is the science process skills? It is learning the process skills is preparation for becoming a scientist. Science process skills are important skills that scientists use to study science. They show the step needed in doing research and gaining knowledge. Some of them is observing, predicting, classifying, and measuring. Okay. But before that, let's read the vocabulary words. Number one, experiment. Next, skills. Next, hypothesis. What is the eight basic science process skills? Number one, observing. Okay, next, number two, classifying. Next, measuring. Number four, using numbers. Five, using space-time relationships. Number six, organizing data and communicating. Number seven, and fearing. And the last, number eight, predicting. Okay, that is the eight basic process skills. Okay, now class, let's go to the six integrated science process skills. The first one, identifying and controlling variables. Number two, interpreting data and making conclusions. Number three, experimenting. Number four, defining operationally. Number five, formulating hypothesis. And the last number is modeling. Now, I will give you, oh, I will show you some of the example. Okay, class. I will explain some of them. The first one, identifying and controlling variables. We have three parts. The first one is independent variables. They control the independent variables. Number two, control variables. So, the result we get will come only from the independent variable. Number three, independent variables. We observe the independent variables by changing the independent variables. Defining operationally. This is to tell the meaning of objects or things in the experiment. This will make it easier to understand and measure things in the experiment. Using space-time relationship. Also this one, we have three types. We have one-dimensional, we have two-dimensional, and the last is three-dimensional. Next one, organizing data and communicating. This is putting data into different ways for easy understanding. Data can be organized into diagrams, chart, tables, graph, equations, or writing and easy. This makes it easy to use the data. Next, modeling. We can create models to explain the meaning of the data we get. Models make it easier for others to understand the data that we gather. That is some of the eight basic science processes. Now let's go for your activity. Let's try this. Draw line to match the statement to the correct science process skills. Don't forget to 
answer your activity. I hope you learn a lot today. I hope you learned a lot today. Once again, I am Teacher Jess. See you soon and bye!